In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up sub accounts on the Bybit Exchange. I'll also show you how to transfer in assets as well as how to log into your sub account. If you appreciate this content, don't forget to leave a like and hit subscribe. I have plenty more Bybit tutorials on my YouTube channel, including a Bybit step-by-step -step beginners tutorial. And I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below. Let's get into the video. To set up and use a sub account, come up to the right hand side of the screen and hover over your profile icon. And from this drop down menu, click on sub account. And here's where you'll find the page where you can create a sub account. And once you've created sub accounts, you'll be able to view them down here. So let's go ahead and set one up. So we'll click on create sub account. Here's where we can give it a username. Down here, just enter in a password. Down here, choose the account type. Likely you'll just be leaving this on standard sub account, but you also have an option for custodial trading sub account. So we'll do standard. Then you can add some remarks if you wish, and then you click on confirm. Now you'll need to sign into your email and fetch the verification code. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that. When the code arrives, just type it in. Now we've successfully created another sub account and we can view it right down here. To transfer some assets into your sub account, you just come over here on the right hand side, click on transfer assets. In this pop-up window here, you're going to choose from which account you're going to be transferring from and which account that you want it to arrive in inside your sub account. So let's go ahead and just click right here. I'll come over to derivatives and click on that. And then on rect one, if you give that a click, you can go into spot or you can go straight into derivatives. I'll just go ahead and leave it on spot. That's fine. Down below, you'll see coin. So you can select the cryptocurrency that you wish to send in by simply clicking there and then choosing the coin from this drop down menu. So I'll just do BTC. Below that, we'll choose an amount. So let's just go ahead and do a custom amount. So maybe something like that. You'll be able to see your available balance right here. And you could always use the all button as well. Once you have that set up the way that you want it, you click on submit. Success. And now down below under sub accounts, you can see that we funded rect one with not point not not one BTC. To log in and trade using that sub account, we just come over here on the right hand side and click where it says log in. Then we'll click on confirm. Now, if I come up here on the top right hand side of the screen and hover over the profile icon, you'll see that we're signed in as rect one. Now, if I come over here to assets, come down to assets overview, we can see the Bitcoin in my assets overview, which is inside the spot wallet. So if we click on spot, here's where we can find the BTC. When you're ready to transfer your crypto back into your main account, just come back up here, click on overview. And over here on the right hand side, you'll see transfer to main account. So we'll go ahead and give that a click. Now you can see that we're transferring from rect one back into main account. We can see the coin right here, BTC. But if we click that, it comes to drop down menu. So select whatever crypto it is that you want to send back. Then we come down here, the available amount to transfer, not point not not one BTC. So we'll go ahead and just type that in. We'll click on confirm. Now we've sent the funds back into our main account. When you're ready to switch back to your main account, just come up over here, top right hand side of the screen, hover over your profile icon. At the very bottom down here, you'll see where it says log out. Go ahead and give that a click. Now we've logged out of Bybit. So what we'll need to do is log back into our primary account here. Simply put your credentials back in and continue. When you log back in, you'll be back to your main account. So if we come up here in the top right hand side of the screen, hover over our profile icon, here you can see we're back to our primary account. And there you have it. That's how you set up your sub accounts. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other Bybit tutorials on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.